the thing I was covering up uh, or not showing was how I was going to do the robe. And uh, I wanted to show the wind blowing against the robe. And uh, I've got that pretty well worked out now. Still shaping the bottom of the uh, robe a little bit. And uh, working out the wrinkles of the uh, clothing. I'm going to have him holding his battle axe. So I gotta work out that. I put a, let's see, there we go. I put a curve in the uh, battle axe by making a little armature to uh, do that with. And then I'm gonna have the uh, battle axe here. But uh, that's the way she is right now. I uh, filled in the hair there. I've uh, shown the, uh, I wanted to have this uh, attached by a ring and a pin, this robe. And uh, that would be underneath the beard and uh, the hair. Uh, I thought I might have some of the hair coming I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave the hair down there behind the uh, the robe. Because I kind of like that line right there. But uh, it's coming together. It's starting to look like uh, the design I had in my mind. And uh, it's pretty well uh, supported now by the robe. I, I put a couple of screws up against the clay. Uh, to stabilize the angle and I'm still going to have him bend back just a little bit but uh, it gives him a little more strength I'm just gonna have to hold on parts of him just to to keep uh, him from folding on me because it is aluminum wire inside the uh, armature um, this is the arm coming out here from underneath the robe and I'm going to put a arm band on his arm, a, a leather uh, band and I'll probably do the same thing with this arm up here, I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to put a necklace on him, it'll have a uh, Thor hammer on the, uh, the necklace and uh, I'm thinking about putting a braided uh, headband on his head. I'm not going to do uh, his helmet, because if he wore a helmet, why would he not be wearing armor? And I don't want to put armor on him because I kind of like this, uh, this body uh, showing as I have it. If I was going to do uh, a piece that emphasized the armor, then I would have put a helmet on him. Alright. Still trying to shape the wind effect on this. I got the uh, staff of the uh, or the shaft of the uh, war club or the uh, battle axe uh, showing uh, through the uh, robe. A lot of you people uh, watch my videos in the morning along with your uh, coffee uh, Terry Connor is a artist, sculptor friend of mine, and and he told me yesterday that uh, he watches my videos uh, every morning with his coffee, which makes me feel like I'm part of somebody's breakfast. I just don't get the breakfast; I just part of it. <laughs> All right, I'm liking the way this is looking. The shield isn't going to have much effect on. Uh, the uh, robe and I'm trying to show the body of his back through the robe and uh, once I get the uh, to that point where I'm finished with the shield and I'll attach the shield permanently and uh, we'll go from there I think next thing I'm going to do is uh, do this uh, battle axe got yeah I think that's the next thing I'm going to do. 
All right. Uh, good night, everybody. Or good day. Or have a great day. Or whatever. Just have it. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.